national anthem of Barbados. Let us stand at ease and bow our heads for prayer. Dear Lord and Father, thank you that you promise and that your promises are fulfilled, that where two and three are gathered, you are here in the midst. Lord, we welcome you amongst us today as we celebrate the gift of life that you've lavished upon each of us. We ask that you would open our ears, that we may hear your voice. Almighty God, open our, open our minds, that we may receive your eternal wisdom. Open our spirits, Lord, that we may know your leading and your guidance. And open our hearts, we pray, that we may receive your wonderful love. We ask all of this in the glorious name of Jesus, and we all say amen kindly be seated. I welcome you all to this service and I welcome Your Excellency, the Most Honorable Dame Sandra Mason, President of Barbados and Patron of the Barbados Boys Cause Association. I welcome the Honorable Corey Lane who is the Minister of State in the Attorney General's office, a stranger to none of us. Sir Marson Gibson, Chief Scout and President of the Barbados Boy Scouts Association. Mr. Trevor Jones, Chief Commissioner of the Barbados Boy Scouts Association. Mrs. Nadia Skeet, Immediate Past Chief Commissioner of the Girl Guides Association. Honorary Chief Commissioners, Special Invited Guests, Fellow Commissioners, Leaders, Scouts, Ladies and Gentlemen, a very good evening to you. We celebrate 111 years of service as a movement. And for those of the finer vintage, young folk might say older, you remember that English cricket umpire, David Shepherd, who would hop on one foot because he was superstitious about the number 111. They would call it Phil Nelson. He would hop and hop and hop until the score changed from 111 to something because that is what you did when you were so superstitious. 
but we are not superstitious. We are giving thanks to God because this is a good day. It is a day with which we celebrate 111 years of serving this island's young men and those of us who are no longer so young, we give God thanks for the day. So we welcome all of you to this day's service. We thank God for good weather. We thank him for journeying mercies and we trust that he'll be with us as we go through this afternoon service. So again, warm welcome to all. I invite our worship team, some who are young, some who feel they are young. My apologies. Let us all stand as we receive the flags. And as we do so, we will sing our processional hymn, which is Shine, Jesus, Shine. Lord, the light of your love is shining, in the midst of darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me, shine on me. And the chorus goes, shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Set forth your world and let there be light. We sing. of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining jesus light of the world shine upon us set us free by the truth you know bring us shine on me
Amen. Kindly be seated. It would be a good time now to welcome those who are viewing our online stream from wherever you are in this globe. We thank you for joining us and we pray you will be blessed as we worship together. Our worship team will lead us in a session of Scout Songs, Danny, Lavon, and company. As we're saying, there are two who are young, there are two who feel they're young, and there are two who ain't young. I will leave you to decide which of the four are which. A pleasant good evening to everyone. Now you sang so lustily that opening hymn. I would hope that you would join now in singing some scout songs. And in order to do so, we must stand. And the first song we're going to sing is Gingangguli. And we're going to sing it in a round. We're going to start, everybody's going to sing together. And then Mr. Heinz is going to hold the left half and I'm going to have the right half along, well, Levon and Amir are going to have the left half, Joshua and I are going to have the right half, and we're going to sing Ging Gang Guli. Uh, a Ging Gang Guli, 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 watch a Ging Gang Guli, Ging Gang Guli. Ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo, a ging gang goo. Hela, hela shela, hela shela, hela. Ging gang goo, a ging gang goo, a ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo, a ging gang goo. Come on, hella, hella shella, hella shella, hella, hella, hella shella. Hela shela hela bu. Wale shale wale shale wale shale wa. Umpa 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 Ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo a ging gang goo come on gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo ging gang goo hella hella shella hella shella hella 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 shella hella shella hella Give yourselves a round of applause for that. The next song we're going to sing is One Man Went to Moor.
One man went to war, went to war a meadow. One man on his back parade a pool on hop and saw she roll. Went to war a meadow. Come on. Two men went to war, went to war a meadow. Two men, one man on his back Pomeranian poodle pup and sausage roll Went to Mohamedo Three men went to Mohamedo Went to Mohamedo Three men, two men, one man on his back Pomeranian poodle pup and sausage roll Went to Mohamedo Four men went to Mohamedo Went to Mohamedo Four men, three men, two men, one man, and his back and red and pulled up and sausage roll. Went to Mohamedo. Five men went to Mohamedo. Went to Mohamedo. Five men, four men, three men, two men, one man, and his back, Mama Rainey, and pulled up and sausage roll. Went to Mohamedo. We're stopping at five. Because <laughs> we can go on. The next thing we're going to do is the BP Spirit. So our final song in this session, and I want to thank Joshua and Amir for leading us in that last one. Give them a round of applause, please. Our final song in this scout session is Everywhere We Go. And you know how this song goes. So you repeat after me. Everywhere we go. People want to know. People want to know who we are. Who we are. So we tell them. So we tell them. We are the Boy Scouts. We are the Boy Scouts. Mighty, mighty Boy Scouts. The mighty, mighty Boy Scouts. And if you didn't hear us. Sing a little louder. Everywhere we go, people want to know. People want to know who we are. So so we tell them. So so we tell them. We are the Boy Scouts. Mighty, mighty Boy Scouts. Mighty, mighty Boy Scouts. And if you can't hear us, if you can't hear us, we sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, people wanna know. People wanna know. We are the Boy Scouts. We are the Boy Scouts. 
from Barbados, from Barbados. And if you didn't hear us, and if you didn't hear us, we shout a little louder. Shout a little louder. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, people wanna know, people wanna know who who we are, who who we are. So so we tell them. So, so Mighty Boy Scouts. Mighty Mighty Boy Scouts. And if you didn't hear us, if you didn't hear us, you got to be deaf. You got to be deaf. Thank you very much. Thank you. There is something wonderful about men and boys' voices singing in unison. And I'm sure Military Road and Buckingham Hill and Park Road and Marsh Road and all these roads in Bank Hall would know scouts are at life this evening. Let's say amen. A verse of scripture will be read for us this evening by a Cub Scout called Master LaShawn Best of the St. Stephen's Scout Group. And Master Best will read from us from the book of Judges, chapter 2. He will read verse 10. So come swiftly, Master, Master LaShawn. Let's pay attention to LaShawn's reading. The Bible reading comes from Judges chapter 2, verse 10. The whole generation also died, and the next generation forgot the Lord and what he had done for Israel. Here ends the Bible reading. Master Ian Harvey from St. Gabriel's Scout Troop will bless us with a special presentation. One Thousand Reasons is the name. And as Master Ian comes, let's say welcome to all these St. Gabriel's Scouts. Excuse me, sir, they hold a special place for me, so let me just take a few moments to say to them hello from a fellow St. Gabriel Scout. Master Ian.
Okay, sir. Let's give young Ian another round of applause. <laughs> and I hope you noticed the professionally is he adjusted the mic at one point. Good to go. This afternoon's second scripture reading is taken from the book of Joshua. And Romario Yearwood from the Milton Lynch Scout Group will come and read Joshua 1, verse Bible reading will be taken from Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Here ends the Bible reading. I hope we all understand how difficult that sometimes can be. Even for those of us who it is our profession to get up and to speak, there are times when we still don't get it right. So let us again applaud LaShawn, Ian, and Romario. Our worship team will minister to us again as they now lead us in some worship songs as we prepare to hear the ministry of the word. So would Danny and Levon and Cole come and so lead us again. So we just had the scout session. This one is now the worship session with our gospel courses and of course I once again ask you to stand and join with us as we sing these songs. Yes, that's that. The first song we're going to sing is Take a Grip. And you know the actions as well, so do the actions. Take a grip, take another grip, my brother. Hold on and never let go. No matter what the people in the world may say, hold on and never let go. 
never let go. Sing. Take a grip. Take a grip. Take another grip, yeah. my brother. Hold, Hold on, on and never let go. Sing, sing. No matter what the people in the world may say. Hold on and never let go. I need somebody to help me lift Jesus. Yeah. I need somebody to help me lift Jesus. I need somebody. Oh, yeah. To help me lift Jesus. Yeah. So clap your hands and help me lift Jesus. Clap your feet and help me lift Jesus. Shake your body. Oh yeah. And help me lift Jesus. Take a grip. Take another grip, my brother. Hold on and never let go. Beep beep. No matter what the people in the world may say. Hold on and never let go. Take a grip. Take a grip. Take another grip, my brother. Hold on and never let go. No matter what the people in the world may say, hold on and never let go. I need somebody to I need help somebody. me lift Jesus. I need somebody to help me lift Jesus. Oh, yeah. I need somebody to help me lift Jesus. Yeah. So clap your hands and help me lift. Clap, clap. Stamp your feet and help me lift Jesus. Shake your body. Shake your body. And help me lift Jesus. Oh, yeah. That beat sounded really good. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> I must acknowledge Tamara, who is on guitar, and no Mark, who is joining us on drums. The Scouts, we have every piece of talent here among us. So parents, remember to send your, your children. We will help them to get these talents as well. The next song we're going to sing is I Am In The Lord's Army. I may never march in the infantry, ride on the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly on the enemy, but I am in the Lord's army. I am in the Lord's army. I am in the Lord's army. I we're going to do is this little light of mine. You sound excited. <laughs> this little light of mine. I'm
And our final song in this worship session is Father Abraham. And we are going to do the actions for this one as well. All right. yourselves a round of applause. All right. Thank you. That singing brought back memories of me being a Kabat. Sir Matthias Boys now called Arthur Smith with Mr. Robinson and Miss Stewart as our Akela and Balu. Oh, to be a cub again for those carefree days. Sir? Yes, sir, I did. Yes, sir. So I'm in good company. We hear the word from Minister Jeremy Brown. And Minister Brown is a father of a cub at St. Stephen's Scout Group. So normally, Daddy would be saying, look, look, look my son there. He's the one in the cub uniform. As if you don't have us in the cub uniform being so proud. But now son can say, look, fellas, look, look. That's my daddy up there. 
the one with the mic that preaching. Let us stand and welcome Minister Brown as he brings us this evening's word from God. Protocol is being established. Thank you. You may take your seat. He had to single me out. I'm wearing so many hats this evening. I'm an educator. And where do I teach? At the St. Stephen's Primary School. <laughs> Last week, I, was, I attended the Mahogany Awards with some of the boys. As Mr. Johnson, who gives leadership to that group, does not leave me alone. Whenever there's something to be done at St. Stephen's, Mr. Brown, you need to be there. You need to see the boys. You need to be a part of this. You need to see the vision. And that's Mr. Johnson almost every week. Yesterday, we were by the observatory. The week before, we were by the observatory. I hope there's nothing that sweet. <laughs> but it's a pleasure just to share with you for a few minutes. I don't have much time. And on this 111th anniversary celebration from this day's service, they have themed it hiking, camping, sailing, Boy Scouts moving forward. And when I was asked to share, what came to me this was the word community. Little children, can you say that word? Community. A little louder. If I was in the school hall at St. Stephen's, I would ask someone to raise their hand and give me a definition for the word community. But I wouldn't do that to you this evening. But there were two portions of scriptures, scripture that was read, sorry. And they were all from the Old Testament. Why? One said that there was a generation that did not know God, that did not understand the things that God would have done for the people of Israel. And the one before, and the other one was about a young man being encouraged by the name of Joshua. And I told him to be courageous, not to be fearless, because wherever he would go, God would be with him. I want to tell you a little story so that you can understand. You see, this, the words of encouragement came to this young man, Joshua. Imagine there was a people who came out of bondage from a land called Egypt. And they're placed into a wilderness. And they are wandering around in this wilderness. And in the wilderness, they have to live in tents. They say that you're going camping. So they live in tents. So they're on, in, in the tents as families. And they had to walk in order to get where they're going. I don't, there, there's no mention of the sailing. They had to cross the river, the river at some point. But they didn't say sailing. But they had to move forward. But I want you to hear something carefully. The early part of what we read in the scriptures was written, according to theologians, by a man called Moses. And Moses was the person who was given leadership to these persons at this point in time. According to the scout history, Lord Baden Powell is the person who founded in 1908, am I correct? I'm looking at the scouts. Should I ask one of the leaders to raise their hand? <laughs> in 1908 in England, and he was an army man but he wanted to share a vision, wanted young people who understand what it meant to live in community and to, to be good citizens within their nation. And when God was speaking to Moses, I wanted to see the correlation, children. When God was sharing with Moses all the different things that he wrote down, he was trying to build a community of persons who could represent him well in the land. And so we all heard about the Ten Commandments, but God gave Moses so many other things. And they were taught to the people 
And guess how the children learn these things? There's a scripture that says, teach them to your children when you wake up, when you sit down for lunch, when you sit down to eat dinner. Parents, this is for you also. So I have a saying in my classroom that I, I don't like talking so much, but I have no choice. Because if I don't talk and share, then who will share with you may lead you astray. And the children in my class, I don't see if Jadik is here, he's also a scout. And they will say, sir, again. <laughs> you know, when you first start teaching, you don't share so much. But as you get older, you begin to love them so much. You, you, you see why grandparents talk so much. And white parents, when they get older, especially when we were teenagers, why they felt so miserable because they knew that in order for something to be passed on, we need to have communication. So all the leaders, you need to communicate with the younger ones. You need to consistently talk to them. Because they're coming from communities that are informing their decisions. And what you do within the scout community is very, 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 very important. As a person who loves young people who work in youth ministry, teacher, coaching football, everything around working with young people, it blesses my heart to see so many young men involved in scouts. I thought that, I didn't know it was so big, <laughs> Mr. Johnson. <laughs> That's the truth. I, I, it blesses my heart to see all you young, young men, you need to give yourself a hand. I want you to put beavers up to scouts and to the leaders, you need to give yourself a hand. It is a blessing to see in this nation of Barbados, a community of young men being um, blessed with knowledge to bless this nation. Because we know that children are being impacted by communities. I said I'm an educator. And you get children in your classroom from different communities, but within the classroom, that is a community. I tell my class, oh, they, we are family in here because somehow different to my generation, which tells me that I'm getting older, and this generation loves to argue. Whoa, well, I tell you, they argue nonstop. In our time, we may make a little boast and that was it. But this generation, they argue over the little smallest things. My shoes look better than yours. No, that ain't a brand name. <laughs> You buy that from wherever. But instead of the talking cease, somehow it takes it, they take it to the playground. I, I don't understand why it is that they end up fighting. In my time when you fight, that was it. That was it done there. But nowadays they won't fight and they want to carry on and carry on and build that little, I don't like you gangs and this. I carry it too far. And that's why I'm so happy that there are some among us who will work with them, who will help encourage them to be good problem solvers when it comes to these situations. Because I see, I've seen persons who have been blessed by Cub Scouts come forward and say, we don't need to do this. You hear what the teacher said? And I want to applaud you leaders. Leaders, you need to applaud yourself for what you are doing among the youth here in Bar. Leaders, give, your, give, give our leaders a... So let me hear this on. on. I said the word is community. And I want, to hear, I want to share something with you about this man called Joshua. And this is important. This is an important point. There was this special tent that Moses entered when he had conversations with God according to the scriptures. And certain people went with him. So when Moses went into this tent, the young man... He was young. He was younger than all the others. Joshua. He went with Moses. And when he went with Moses, and he was learning what was going on, the scriptures tell us that when Moses was finished and Moses and the others left, this young man, young people, this is for you. This young man by the name of Joshua, he stayed. He stayed in that presence. He stayed and he continued in the presence of God. I want to tell you, young people, and this evening, 
all these things that you are being taught. It makes no sense hearing it today and then forgetting it tomorrow. You need to stay a little longer with it. So that the next generation that comes after you will be blessed just at how this generation is blessing you. So I want you to listen. And all the things that you are, they ask you to write down. That some of us as parents know that we all have to help them. When they send them home. Find out the number for the ambulance. The number for the police. How do you make this? And how do you do that? When they have to do their badges. Parents. Do you enjoy doing it? <laughs> Let me see the parents who enjoy. Raise your hand, parents. Uh, leaders, you need to speak to your parents. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, it's a task sometimes, I, I know. Because Mr. Johnson loves to give the children three and four badges at the same time. I'm going to call your name, sir. And, but at the end of it, my son enjoys it. And, and he learns so much. And every Wednesday, I don't have to tell him what clothes he has to put on. He will put them there for me. And he would even try to press this Cub Scout shirt himself. Even though I tell him, only press the pants because he ain't so good at pressing shirts as yet. But that just goes to show the impact of community and what you are doing. You see, when Moses didn't get to cross, watch it. When the Israelites left the wilderness... And they were going to the place that God promised them. Because I want you to know, scouts, that you are going somewhere where I may not be able to see it. Mr. Johnson or your scout leaders may not be able to see it. That your destiny that God has prepared for you. And when you are going forward, all of these core values and things that you learn on scouts will help you. And that's why you will be able to be courageous. You'll be able to be bold because the skills that you will learn in scouts, there are certain skills that I see them teaching that I know will make you great leaders and be able to step in situations where you are not sure. And we live in a world that is very unsure. But the principles, the core principles that they teach you, that integrity, you need that. What else? That respect, you need that. And that belief. And with the integrity, comes honesty, trustworthiness, loyalty. And if you have respect for each other, in which we need in today's society, it will go a long way. And when Joshua came across with the community of the Israelites into the promised land, it was a territory that this, these persons had never gone through before. They were coming to a place of having to fight. A place where they will have to do battle to get what is theirs. We live in a world where we have to battle and fight for what is ours. And we have to know how to do it with respect. And when Joshua looked at the people and they began to grumble, it was only when God said to be not be afraid. Joshua could look back at the teachings he would have received in the wilderness, being in the presence with Moses and that community to drive him forward. Young people, leaders, this generation of scouts will be able to go forward and be of good courage and be courageous once you continue to instill those core values and they take them in. I'm telling you, they can change this nation for Barbados. I see Minister Coraline. I, I, we don't have a work in this. I always remember him, if a young man, a boxer boy, working with him when I was teaching at St. Stephen's. I won't go into call his name, but when he had, it's the Nature Fun Ranch. And he used to come, I used to see him coming up sometimes, and he had on the same scout. I don't know if he was a scout. He, was, he had on the scout outfit, and he would come, and he would always connect with the boys, and these were some of the troubled boys at St. Stephen's. And they were always talking about Mr. Lean, and what he was doing was impacting them in a positive way that translated. They were coming to communities that were encouraging to do other things, but when they came into St. Stephen's and what was imparted into them, they were bold enough to stand up and be different, not at all times, but many times because of what things they would have been taught. 
I don't want it to become like the, the scripture that said, there arose a generation that did not understand and appreciate. Scout leaders, share those stories. I see you taking make those memories because we need many more communities like the Boy Scouts to bless this world. And God bless you. A word to the wise is often more than enough. At this time, as we sing this scout hymn, we will receive this evening's offering. We will give unto our God. And the Chief Commissioner has asked, hinted, insisted, mandated that we somehow jazz up the scout hymn some to encourage us to sing and sing it lustily. So, Miss Elaine is here smiling sweetly and we will enlist his help, sir, for where you were. But let's, as we give unto God, we sing the scout hymn. And it reads, Now as I start upon my chosen way, in all I do, my thoughts, my work, my play. Grant has a promise. Brother Jeremy, courage, that word? Courage new for me to be the best, the best that I can be. The writer writes, help me to keep my honor shining bright. May I be loyal in the hardest fight. Let me be ready for my task and then to earn a place amongst my fellow men. Open my eyes, O oh God, to see things as I should, that I may do what all scouts should do, my daily turn of good. Let me be ready, waiting for each need, to keep me clean in thought and word and deed. So as I journey along God's chosen way, in all that I do, God, my thoughts, my work, and my play, Grant God, as I hear promise, Brother Jeremy, courage new for me to be the best, the best that I can be. We sing. Now as I start upon my chosen way, in all I do, my thoughts, my work, my play, Grant as I promise, courage new for me to, to be the best, the best, best that I can be. Help me to keep my I can see that the boss, as we call him, is smiling, so we did some of what he wanted. 
For those who are following the stream online, you can log on to www.barbadoscouts.org slash donate. Let me say that again, www.barbadoscouts.org slash donate. If you follow the instructions on that link, you can also make your offering there. Let us give God thanks for his offering and we pray. Almighty God, we stand and in some cases sit before you presenting an offering to you. With this offering, God, present not only our treasures, but our time and our talents to be used in our service. To accept these, our gifts, dear God, we ask in the name of God the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, and we all say, Amen. Kindly sit. At this time, we will recognize those who receive awards in the year 2022 and 2023, those who received their Chief Scout Bronze Awards and Mahogany Awards. And there is a video that we will see indicating such. Was another round of applause. We have thankfully returned to a place where we can gather together and receive our awards. Last year we almost had an appointment system where each boy came one by one and met with Sir Marson and Mr. Jones and got their award individually. But now we are at a place where we can come together and share with each other as they receive. And there are some young men in our midst, two little ones in yellow, kindly stand. And the others who are with them, these are the ones who received 
All stand. These are the ones who will receive their awards this year, so we give thanks for them. We give a round of applause. And that's that God will continue to bless them as they grow. Kindly sit. We will now ask our Chief Scout to present this year's Chief Scout Award. Your Excellency, specially invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. The Chief Scouts Award is the highest award a scout can earn in the scout section. To earn the award, he must successfully complete 15 requirements in the areas of scout craft, adventure, culture, community, health, commitment, local knowledge, and leadership. He must also earn a new proficiency badge and complete a personal project. The Chief Scout Award is a culmination of the training received in the Scout section and the first steps into his next adventure, Venture Scouting. On this occasion, two of our most outstanding Scouts have com successfully completed their Chief Scouts Award, and I now invite the Chief Scout to present the Chief Scout Award to them. Mr. Devron Baino, Harrison College Scout Troop. Mr. Daniel Prasad, Harrison College Scout Group. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Marson. Thank you, Chief. At this time, I invite Mr. Malcolm Paul, Assurance Director of PricewaterhouseCoopers, as we present the Outstanding Scout of the Year 2022 and the Outstanding Troop of the Year 2022. The PWC Outstanding Scout of the Year Award is awarded to a scout who excels in all areas of the scout program, scout craft, adventure, culture, community, health, commitment, local knowledge, and leadership, and who is in at least his second year of scouts, actively participates in group, district, and national activities, has earned at least 10 proficiency badges, and who actively participates in activities outside of scouting, that is, home, school, church, and community. Even though this year we only had two candidates, selecting just one of them was not as easy as it should have been. However, there can be only one winner. Therefore, the winner of the PricewaterhouseCoopers Outstanding Scout of the Year Award 2022 is Mr. Devron Bino, Harrison College Scout Troop.
The Price Waterhouse Coopers Outstanding Troop of the Year Award is awarded to a troop which, during the year in review, has shown growth in membership, whose members are earning training awards and proficiency badges, who actively participates on hikes, camps, and other scouting activities, who actively participate in group, district, and national activities, and who actively participates in activities and projects in the wider community. The winner of the Price Waterhouse Coopers Outstanding Troop of the Year Award 2022 is Harrison College Scout Troop, and I ask Mr. Daniel Prasad to collect on behalf of his troop. Congratulations to you and thank you, Mr. Paul. Thank you, Chief. I invite Sir Marston Gibson to present the Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award. Your Excellency, the Most Honorable Dame Sandra Mason, President of Barbados and Patron of the Barbados Boy Scout Association. Ms. Marcin Gibson, Chief Scout and President of the Barbados Boy Scout Association. Mr. Trevor Jones, Chief Commissioner of the Barbados Boy Scout Association. Honorary Chief Commissioners, especially invited guests, fellow commissioners, leaders, scouts, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. The Duke of Edinburgh's International Award is open to all 14 to 24 year olds and is the world's leading youth achievement award. To earn the award, a participant must show commitment and development in an area of their choice over a minimum sustained period in each of the areas of physical recreation, skill development, and voluntary service. The person must also train for and complete an adventurous journey with purpose. So Marston, on this occasion, three Boy Scouts have successfully completed the bronze level of this award which requires commitment and development in these areas over a period of three to six months and an adventurous journey over at least two days and one night. Therefore, I invite you to present the award to the following. Devron Bynum, 99th Barbados Harrison College Scout Group. Julio Cobham, 99th Barbados, Harrison College Scout Group. Melvin Terrence, 99th Barbados, Harrison College Scout Group. Once again, a round of applause for our winners today. Thank you. And as the Chief Commissioner sits, we see him smiling broadly as I was. 
not only his chief, but because he is from Harrison College Scout Group. So he sure it bless his heart that Harrison College Scouts were being presented this afternoon. The Barbados Venture Gold Award will be presented by Her Excellency the Most Honorable Dame Sandra Mason, FBCGMG, DAQC, LLD, President of Barbados and Patron of our association. If you'd be so kind, ma'am. Your Excellency, the Most Honorable Dame Sandra Mason, President of Barbados and Patron of the Barbados Boy Scouts Association, the Honorable Corwilian, Minister of State in the Attorney General's Office, the Honorable Mr. Colin Jordan, Minister of Labor, Social Security, and the Third Sector, the Honorable Ms. K. McConney, Minister of Education, Technological, and Vocational Training, the Honorable Mr. Kurt Humphrey, Minister of People, Empowerment, and Elder Affairs. Commodore Ayrton Sherlin, Chief of Staff of the Barbados Defense Force. Sir Martin Gibson, Chief Scout and the President of the Barbados Boy Scouts Association. Mr. Trevor Jones, Chief Commissioner of the Barbados Boy Scouts Association. Mrs. Nadia Skeet, Immediate Past Chief Commissioner of the Girl Guys Association of Barbados. Honorable Chief Commissioners, Specially Invited Guests, fellow commissioners and leaders, scouts, ladies and gentlemen. The Barbados Venture Gold Award is a uniquely Barbadian award and the first steps in the next and highest award in this section. Your Excellency, on this occasion, two of our venture scouts have successfully completed the Barbados Venture Gold Award. I now invite you to present the Barbados Venture Gold Award to them. Hadley Roach, member of the Bridgestone District Bench Unit and the Jen Street Scout Group. Hadley was a Cub Scout and a Scout. Rondell Trim, member of the Bridgestone District Venture Unit and the Bear Scout Group. Rondell as well was a Cub Scout and a Scout. I invite our Chief Commissioner, Mr. Trevor Jones, to bring us his remarks.
Your Excellency, the most honorable Dame Sandra Mason, President of Barbados and Patron of the Barbados Boy Scout Association. The Honorable Mr. Corey Lane, um, Minister of State in the Attorney General's Office and Queen Scout. Go add that in. <laughs> Inspector Roland Cobbler of the Royal Barbados, sorry, the Barbados Police Service. <laughs> Have it. <laughs> Sir Marston Gibson, Chief Scout and President of the Barbados Boy Scout Association. Mrs. Nadia Ski, Immediate Past Chief Commissioner of the Girl Guys Association of Barbados. Honorary Chief Commissioners, specially invited guests, fellow commissioners and leaders, scouts, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Before I go into my remarks, I would like to express an apology for the Attorney General who intended to be here this evening, but he called a little bit before the service started to say that he is busy preparing for the budget on Tuesday and is unable to attend. But he, told me to, he sent a message telling me to make sure I invite him to another activity before the scout year is out, so I will make sure I do that. He is also a former scout. I was going to say he was one of my scout leaders, but that would make people think that he's a lot older than he is. <laughs> it is good to be at our annual Founders Day service in its regular format. The last time we were able to meet like this was in 2020. Although we had a face-to-face -face service last year, only a few persons could attend. I would like to thank the Lord for bringing us to the stage where we can fellowship together in person as we did before. We pray that by our next service, we will be able to return to our regular numbers as well. This last year has been dif different. That's the best word I can think of to describe it. Difficult, challenging, or hard didn't seem to quite cut it. Different in the sense we started the year with limiting protocols, most of which have been removed 12 months later. We started with restrictions at schools, most of which have been removed now, and the list goes on. By the time the new school year had started in September, most schools had returned to a sense of normalcy, regular classes and a return to extracurricular activities on the compound. Many of us thought that once schools reopened, everything would have returned to normal. We will pick up where we left off in March 2020 and continue like the previous two and a half years did not happen. But that was wishful thinking. Nothing stays the same. Change is a constant in life. We, have now met, we were now met with a new set of challenges. At least half of our membership at tw March 2020 would have aged out of the section that they were in by September 2022, because you actually spent about four years in a section. During the time of virtual meetings, not, many not much recruiting was done, so there weren't replacements for those who aged out. Groups who were unable to transition to virtual meetings now had no active members. It is hard to rebuild a group with a few members, much less one with no members. For the previous two and a half years, most students were not part of any type of structured physical activity. And returning to that is a major challenge. These are just a few of them. If I try to list all of them, we would be here until after dark. These challenges were not peculiar to us, but were experienced by most organizations, not just youth organizations, but also those for adults. But all is not lost. We will rebuild. We will continue moving forward. We must use different approaches to highlight what we do and why we do it. We must update the presentation of our activities to make them more appealing to the public. 
Our theme for the service and the coming year is hiking, camping, sailing, Boy Scouts moving forward. And while these are signature activities associated with scouting, I would not want you to believe that this is all we do. A theme is supposed to be a short and to the point. If we were to list all the activities we do, it would be a book and not a theme. But let us look at the three of these activities. They are all fun activities that our boys enjoy. But have you considered that they are all physical activities? And as such, they are participating in the Barbados Moves campaign and the fight against childhood obesity? Or that it works towards the UN Sustainable Goal number three, good health and well-being? Or that participating in regular scouting activities like beach cleanups, planting a tree, collecting items for a food bank, work towards SDGs number 2, 13, 14, and 15. And these are only a few examples. This is what I mean about updating the presentation of our activities. To our boys, there will be just fun activities that they do, which is what we want. That's all they need to know. But when we present them to the parents and the community at large, they need to see that it is more than just a fun activity. That we, that by being involved, their sons and their fellow scouts are doing their part to make this world just a little bit better. To better facilitate this, we will be embarking on a number of interconnected projects and activities. They will be centered around two major programs, Scouting Renewed and LEAP. LEAP standing for Learning, Entrepreneurship, and Environmental Protection. Scouting Renewed will seek to renew and reban our scouting program. It will bring to fruition the work we already started with our youth program and integrate it with elements of our youth engagement, adults in scouting, and safe from harm policies to portray our program in a way that will reignite the passion, participation, and support of positive youth development for boys in Barbados through scouting. This will provide the springboard for a recruitment drive that will first seek to increase our adult membership and then youth membership. Because before we bring more youth, we need to make sure we have adequate leadership for them. Learning Entrepreneurship and Environmental Protection, or LEAP, aims to increase awareness, knowledge, and practice of environmental protection and entrepreneurship in agriculture. It aligns with Sustainable Development Goals number 1, 2, 3, 5, 12, 15, and 17 and will incorporate aspects of various badges from all the sections. The developed gardens will be environmentally sustainable, integrating youth and entrepreneurship to generate income and serve the community. It is intended that the pilot project will be set up in three locations initially, and once they have been established, the project will be made available to all groups. And I must say that the pilot projects are not only for scouts, but at the schools that we are looking at, it is to involve the entire school population. So yes, it will benefit our boys, but also we are looking to improve the community as well that they are in. This is just a simple overview of both projects. And funding is already being sought for both projects. Once that has been settled, you will get full details on both of them. In August, eight scouts and a leader from our association will be attending the 25th World Scout Jamboree in South Korea. The event and their experiences at it will also be used in our promotional campaign. This year, we are celebrating 111 years of unbroken service to the boys and young men of our country. And during Scout Month, which is the month of March, we have started the ball rolling on the celebrations. On the 4th of March, we recognize the achievements of the members of the Beaver Scout and Cub Scout sections 
those were the young men that you saw stand up a little earlier. On the 9th, of, on the, 9th the anniversary day of the association, not of the association, sorry, of scouting in Barbados, the Chief Scout planted a tree at Scout Headquarters. On the 20th, we will have our third annual National Town Hall meeting. This year, it will be a hybrid event, and you'll be able to participate at Scout Headquarters or online using Zoom or YouTube. And to close off the month, on Saturday the 25th, we will be holding our first Family Fun Day. This is not the usual event where the boys and their leaders, sorry, for the boys and their leaders. This is an event for the entire scouting family. Beaver Scouts, Cub Scouts, Scouts, Venture Scouts, leaders, commissioners, council members, parents, guardians, family members, and the friends of scouting. I would, like, I would just like to warn the parents and guardians that are here today that this is not the activity you send your son or ward to with the leader. This is one for you to bring him to and join in. As we go forward into the new scout year, our theme is hiking, camping, sailing, Boy Scouts moving forward. Let us recommit ourselves to continue moving forward, providing quality activities which are wholesome and above all fun for our boys, encouraging them to be the best that they can be, moving them forward to be responsible citizens of our country and the world. Hiking, camping, sailing, Boy Scouts moving forward. Good hunting. Oh, sorry. Your Excellency, one the principal functions of the Deputy Chief is to advise his Chief Commissioner. By begging others, I can advise him as, as his chaplain today. Moses, who lived in, in Pharaoh's house, legend has it he was loved more than Pharaoh's son. But Moses had his wilderness experience before God prepared him for greatness. So even though we lost half of our scouts, God is preparing us for greatness. Joseph endured slavery and prison before God positioned him to save Israel from famine. God, sir, is preparing you and us for greatness. And finally, the Apostle Paul was both a Hebrew and a Greek. He was a citizen of Rome, but he too on his Damascus Road experience spent three years preparing to spread the word of God. Well, God positioned him for greatness. So kind sir, God is only positioning us for greatness. And in this lean period, let us wait on the leading of our God. Thank you, Chaplain. <laughs> I will now invite the sectional leaders to come to redo the renewal of the promise. All uniform members, replace your headdress and stand, please. Alert all the uniform members, the Beaver Scouts will now renew their promise. Beaver Scouts, turn. All members make the sign. Beavers, repeat after me. I promise to do my best. One second. Not you. Them. 
Good. Be very ready now. It's your turn to shine. I promise to do my best. I promise to do my best. To do my duty to God. Sorry. I think about them now. Sorry. I can start you again. I look at them and think about them. Are you ready? Everybody's hat is on. I promise to do my best. To be kind and helpful. And to love God. Alert. All uniform members, please make this coat sign. Cop Scouts, please repeat after me. I promise that I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country to help other people and to and to keep the Cop Scouts off. Everybody make the sign. All scouts, venture scouts, and leaders repeat after me. On my honor, On my honor. I promise that I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to help other people, and to keep the scout law. Alert. Thank you. Our recessional hymn will be sung as our flags will be returned and our recessional hymn this evening is Onward, Boy Scouts, Onwards, Brothers for the Right, Live Our Scout Laws Gladly, Onward in Their Light. Let, let the oath of loyalty mark our trail each day, so this legend guide our journey, be prepared always. Onward, Boy Scouts, Onward. Brothers for the right, live our scout laws gladly onward in their fight. Onward, boy scouts, onward, brothers for the right, live our scout laws gladly onward in their light. Levy of loyalty, mark our trail each day. So this legend guide our journey, be prepared always. Onward, boy scouts, onward, brothers for the ride. Live or skull us gladly onward in their flight. Share your strength of valor with those you meet each day. Be a true example of your laws that may. Let your light shine brightly, showing that you care. With God's hand to guide and help us, have no doubt or fear. Onward, boy scouts, onward, brothers for the right. Live or scout us gladly, onward in their flight. Live the law of honor, were that truth design. Loyal, be and helpful, friendly, or 
courteous, kind, practice now obedience. Be a cheerful part, thrifty, brave, and clean, completely reverent in heart. Onward, boy scouts, onward, brothers for the right. Live or scout lost gladly, onward in their fight. Onward, boy scouts, onward, brothers for the right. Live or scout lost gladly, onward in their light. Levy oath of loyalty, mark or trail each day. So this legend guide our journey, be prepared always. Onward, boy scouts, onward, brothers for the right. Live or scout lost gladly, onward in the flight. Scout group will say our closing prayer, but as he comes, let us pay respect to those scouts we have lost during the last scout year, and we deem them as new members of the heavenly patrol. Dr. Sophia King. Mrs. Angela Davis, Mr. Anderson Cadogan, Mr. Anderson Miller, Mrs. Dobry Hall, Miss Noreen Aline, we give God thanks for their life and their service and may their souls rest in eternal peace. Right. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we praise you for you are awesome and powerful. We thank you for blessing us with yet another year of scouting and allowing us to successfully hold another Founders Day celebration without trouble. And as you have blessed us in our coming, Lord, I ask that you bless us in our going, that you stretch out your divine hand over the parents, leaders, especially invited guests, and my fellow scout team brothers in, who have made the effort to come out today and guide them safely home. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. We sing both verses of our national anthem. Everyone replace your headdress. <laughs> <laughs> 